This is video two in my video series showing the online animation tool called Flip Anim. Um, so you're not going to be making any long uh, movies, minutes long or even hours long or anything like that. This is really meant for GIF making um, and it's really good uh, for that. Um, and if all you have is a Chromebook or web enabled device or even just a phone, um, this is a nice tool for those. So if you watch my first video tutorial, I created um, I created a little simple character. I'll go to my account and click on it here. So this is just a single frame, no animation, so it's not really a GIF. Um, so if you were following along in the last tutorial, I actually can't go back to edit this. Uh, this project is done, um, and that's... Um, that's a problem. So um, let me go back and show you what I did and what I did wrong. Okay, so if you draw something here, so just draw a little circle. If I click on this save, it's going to upload it to my account um, and I can share it with the community, but I won't be able to actually work on this later. It won't save the project and I can't come back and edit it later. Um, so that's a little bit of a, a, of a warning there. Um, I'm going to show you how to save this properly in just a moment. We're going to get into some animation here. So I'm going to do just a, a little moving around ball. I'm going to take the ball and just start it up here. Okay. All right. So up here at the top, uh, you can add a new frame. You can copy an existing frame. You can delete a frame and you can press play. Down here is where it shows you your frame thumbnails, and here's where you choose the speed of your animation. Think of this as your frames per second. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Copy Frame, and you'll see that I now have two frames here. And I'm gonna take the Move tool, and I'm just gonna move it, and you'll see that Flip Anim does actually have some onion skinning and transparency, and that's really cool. It only gives you one frame of onion skinning, but that's not bad. So I can just keep copying it if I want and just move it. Um, but now I want to just draw. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new frame, adds a new blank frame, and then I can just go ahead and draw. So now I can add in something like if I want to add in a little bit of squash and stretch. So give it a little bit of a stretch. Add. It's going down here. Add. Now what I don't know is, I don't know how many frames this allows. Um, and I'll just move it. So again, this free tool doesn't have every tool that I would want, but it's pretty darn good. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, so I don't know how many frames this allows you to have. Again, you're not going to get up into the hundreds, I don't think. But let's go ahead, I'm on frame 8, let's go ahead and do uh, maybe 10 frames. Okay, so this is frame 9. And frame 10. Okay, so if I go ahead and press play. Okay. So you see how it is there, and it's going pretty slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it up. Okay, let's make it go as fast as it can go. Okay. So there we are there. Um, so you can go back to an existing frame. Um, oh, I see. That's interesting. So you can change the speed of any frame. What the beta editor shows you is that if you click on any one of these frames, you'll see a little um, blue bar underneath, and that shows you, so if I go ahead and I make this much, much, much slower, it's telling you to hold that individual frame. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I wonder if you can actually select more than one frame at a time. That would be even cooler. Let's see, maybe the control key. No, it doesn't seem that way. Okay, so you can definitely click on individual frames. Um, now seem to be frozen. 
but I'm still recording. Okay, awesome. Um, there we go. Okay, so you can click on individual frames and you can adjust their frame uh, length, um, but it doesn't look like you can actually control multiple frames at once, so you can't select all of them and make them all the same speed. Um, so I like that you can control each frame and make it go faster, but it'd be kind of cool uh, to be able to control all of them and change them all at once. If you do know how to change that, um, please go ahead and uh, put that in the comments below. I would love to figure that out for myself and share that with my viewers. Um, okay, so I've got a bouncing ball. If I basically press play, you'll see it's there. It's nothing special, but it, it works. I'm happy with it. So now, how do I save this so that I could work on it later. So you have to come down here in the bottom left, click on the gear box, and then you're going to click on this little um, uh, button that says project and it shows a little download arrow. So click on that and it's just going to download straight to your downloads folder. Um, you don't get to name it or anything, it just gets um, downloaded. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So in my downloads folder, um, here it is right here. Um, so it just gives it a name um, and then it says uh, dot flip anim. Um, that's, the, um, that's the way it saves. And then the idea is that when you come back to this uh, page, let's say you come back to this and you go back here to the beta editor. Now the interesting thing is that Flip Anim is really good at reloading what you had last time. It remembers it, which is really handy. But let's say it didn't load it. You can come back here to the little gear box, click on the load button, I'm going to go to my downloads, and I'm going to find it right here. And you can see that I actually have two here. So I th think it's this one. Let's see. Click on open, say OK, I want to load it. And here it is, I'll press. I'll press play. Yep. And if I load the other one, let's see, this was a previous one. And this one was just a three frame one that wasn't really one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and load back up my other one. Okay, so that's how you properly save and that's how you properly load up a file. So there you go. Um, this save here is really only to share it with the community. Um, and upload it to the community file. Um, okay, so now you basically know um, all the drawing tools, the colors, by the way, for the color picker, there is one down here where you can custom pick a, a new color if you don't see it down here, so that's really cool. Um, let's talk about the frames up here. Let's see if I can take frame six. I wonder if I can drag it, move it around. Okay, that is cool. Um, so you can reorder or rearrange your frames. Um, so that's pretty handy. That's a little, that's more sophisticated than I thought. You're going to have to use the little thumbnails up here to really rearrange them and order them uh, how you think. So just be mindful of that. But that's a really cool feature that does exist. Um, okay, let's see. You can use this uh, scrub bar here to um, move left or right and see your whole project. Again, I don't know how many frames you're allowed to have. Uh, so I'm on frame 10. If I want to delete that frame, I can just click here on the minus and now it's gone. I'll undo that. Oops. Nope. I can't undo that. Awesome. So if you delete a frame, if you remove a frame, you can't undo that. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. When it's gone, it's gone. All right. Well, good to know. Okay. Um, all right, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up on this second video. Uh, so we got to cover um, the saving of the project, loading a project, uh, the animation tools, creating frames, and some basic animation that you saw up here. Um, in the third and last video, um, I'm going to go ahead and experiment and show you um, some of these tools over here on the right-hand side. Um, and then I will hit the save and I'll um, share a demo animation with the community. Um, and then there we go. So 
I will uh, see you in the third video. Thank you very much.